Hi, let us see how to write QR decomposition of a matrix. Let A be a matrix with independent columns. Then we'd like to express this A in this form Q into R, where Q is orthogonal matrix, that is Q transpose into Q. We want this to be identity where R is an upper triangular matrix. The main idea here is we apply Gram-Smith orthogonalization process which converts the given set let's say you are given with a linearly independent set. Now if you apply Gram-Smith orthogonalization process this is going to convert this linearly independent set to orthonormal set. That is you are going to get a new vector set v1, v2 and so on vn where e any two vectors here are perpendicular and length of each vector is 1. The main aim of this video is to show how to convert a matrix into q into r, qr decomposition. Let me start with an example. Let us try to write qr decomposition of this matrix. First thing we need to apply Gram-Smith orthogonalization process. You name these columns as the first column C1, C2, C3. First, second and third columns. We want to convert them into the new set which is U1, U2, U3 such that U1, U2, U3 are perpendicular. U1 is nothing but C1 whereas U2 which is C2 minus U1 cap dot product with C2 into U1 cap and U3 which is the third column minus U1 cap dot product with C3 into U1 cap minus U2 cap dot product with C3 into U U2 cap. So where u1 cap is nothing but the unit vector in the direction of u1. Once if you have a vector, I hope you know how to find the unit vector. So let us try to find u1, u2, u3. So first u1, which is nothing but the first column of the matrix, which is 1, 0, 1. And let me see what is its length. Its length is 1 by root 2, therefore unit vector is nothing but this, 1, 0, 1. Or you can write it as 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2. So this is what u1 cap. Now let us try to find u2. u2 is the second column minus u1 cap dot product with the second column into u1 cap. So that is c2. What is c2 here? Let's see. 2, 1, 0. Minus u1 dot product with 2, 1, 0 u1 cap. So that will be 2 by root 2 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 by root 2 that is 0. So this into now this equal to now you can simplify let me write what is u1 cap here. So u1 cap is 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2. So if you simplify this which is you multiply you get 1 so 2 minus 1 and 1 minus this is 0 whereas 0 minus you get 1 so u2 is nothing but 1 1 negative 1 And it is important to identify this dot product u1 cap dot c2 you can see that is 2 by root 2 which is nothing but root 2 I am talking about this. And let me write this equation here u2 can be expressed as c2 minus 
this is root 2 into u1 cap now we found u2 now it is enough to find u3 so let me write u3 u3 is third column minus u1 cap dot product with the third column into u1 cap minus u2 cap dot product with the third column into u2 cap so u3 the third column here is Three one negative one. This minus u one cap dot product with c three. C three is here. You know what is u one cap? One by root two zero one by root two. So this dot product with three one negative one. This gives me three by root two minus one by root two. That gives me two by root two. So this dot product is two by root two. This into u one cap. U one cap is this one by root two, zero, one by root two. Minus u two cap. We found u two. U two is nothing but one 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 negative one. So what is u two cap? Let me write here. U two cap is one by root three into one one negative one. So this dot product with C three is nothing but C three is three one negative one. So three plus one minus into minus again plus one by root three. This into u two cap. That is one by root three. One by root three. Negative one by root three. I get u three equal to. Now I told you it is important to identify these dot products. Now this result is root two, whereas this one is phi by root three. Okay. Now let me write in terms of columns. This is c three minus. Root two into u one cap minus phi by root three into u two cap. We are going to use these equations in future. That's why I'm writing here. Now let us compute what is u three. U three equal to three minus when you multiply you get negative one and five by three negative five by three. So this is one minus zero minus five by three, and this is negative one, negative one minus into minus plus, which is five by three. Finally, you take LCM. LCM is three, so four. Okay, I get two here. So six minus five that is one by three. This one three minus five minus two by three. Negative two so minus one by three. So this is what u three norm of u three. Which is square root of one by nine plus four by nine plus one by nine. That is exactly root six by three. So now u three cap, which is one by norm of u three into u three. So that is what three by root six into this matrix. I'm sorry, this vector one by three. Negative two by three, and negative one by three. You can cancel that three, so finally you can see what is u three cap, which is nothing but one by root six, negative two by root six, negative one by root six. 
So we got three columns like we got u1 cap, u2 cap and u3 cap. So from this we can directly write what is q. Now we need to find what is r. So to write r, I should write these relations. These are the three equations. So let me write what are these equations here. So C1 which can be written as U1 but we know U1 can be written as norm of U1 into unit vector in the direction. So what is norm of U1? We know that is root 2. So therefore this is root 2 into U1 cap. So first column can be written as root 2 into U1 cap. Now from the second equation you can write U2 I'd like to write it directly. I can write C2 equal to U1 cap dot C2 into U1 cap plus U2. Now you know what is U1 cap dot product with C2. We already computed here. Here it is. That is root 2. Okay, and of course you can see this equation C2 minus root 2 into U1 cap. So write this value here, this implies C2 equal to root 2 into U1 cap plus, now I need to write U2, no? U2 I need to express in terms of its unit vector, so its length into unit vector. So what is the length of U2? Here is U2, its length is 1 by root 3 therefore sorry its length is root 3 therefore it is root 3 into u2 cap so we express second column in terms of u1 and u2 now let us come to the last column u3 so c3 can be written as u1 dot c3 into u1 cap plus u2 cap dot c3 into u2 cap plus u3 and you know this u3 can be written as norm of u into u3 cap c3 equal to we already computed u1 cap dot product with c3 it is one is root 2 another one is 5 by root 3 one is root 2 root 2 into u1 cap plus 5 by root 3 into u2 cap what is the length of u3? See, the length of u3 we found it is root 6 by 3. Let me write that. So root 6 by 3 into u3 cap. Now a can be expressed as q times r where q is nothing but the columns of q are u1 cap, u2 cap and u3 cap. These are the columns of q and when it comes to the r so you need to express c1 as a combination of these three so you can see c1 equal to root 2 into u1 so here this is nothing but root 2 0 0 and next u3 is root 2 into u1 plus root 3 into u2 so here you get root 2 root 3 0 and u3 this can be written as root 2 into u1 plus 5 by root 3 into u2 and root 6 by 3 into u3 and let's exactly write what are u1 u2 u3 are so u1 which is 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 and u2 1 1 negative 1 okay 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, negative 1 by root 3. And finally, u3, u3 is, u3 cap I have to write, 1 by root 6, negative 2 by root 6, negative 1 by root 6. 1 by root 6, 
negative 2 by root 6 negative 1 by root 6 so this multiplied with this matrix r is nothing but root 2 root 2 and root 2 0 root 3 phi by root 3 0 0 root 6 by 3 so this is what the qr decomposition of the given matrix and let us verify whether we get correct or not it means let us multiply them and let's check so when you multiply so the first element of the matrix is 1 so let me see what is the first column of the matrix root 2 into the first column so that gives me the first column 1 0 1 as it is next the second column of the matrix is nothing but root 2 into the first column plus root 3 into the second column so when you multiply and add it you get 2 and you get 1 1 negative 1 you get 0 is that the second column of the matrix 2 1 0 yeah correct 2 1 0 to see the last column root 2 into 1 by sorry root 2 into the first column it is 1 0 1 5 by root 3 into the second column which is 5 by 3 1 by 3 sorry 5 by 3 and negative 5 by 3 plus and this plus root 6 by 3 into the third column which is 1 by 3 negative 2 by 3 negative 1 by 3 when you add all these so the first element you can see 5 plus 1 6 6 by 3 which is 2 2 plus 1 which is 3 next 5 minus 2 which is 3 3 by 3 which gives us 1 next negative 6 by 3 that is negative 2 so 1 minus 2 which will give us negative 1 so that's what exactly our matrix a is right so whatever we did which is correct so a is decomposed into q times r where q is an orthogonal matrix and whereas r is r is an upper triangular matrix when a is square matrix we will exactly get q to be orthogonal matrix when a is not square then you will have just orthonormal columns that's it that is q transpose into q equal to identity that's all you can say I hope you understand this. Thank you.